Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you can tell by the length of this video, there's tons of motivation today to clean and just get your to-do list done. There's lots of real life messes, just dirty floors, dog hair, and I know like I can't be the only one that has this stuff in their house. Like <laughs> I know there's someone out there that's like, oh my goodness, okay, I'm not the only one. So this is for all of you and I hope it's helpful. Whether you're cleaning with me or whether you're just sitting back relaxing and just enjoying this video, I hope you enjoy it. I'm currently pregnant. We are expecting our little baby here due May, so we're really excited. And it's gotten a little bit more difficult to get things cleaned and just get things done, um, to be honest with you. So I have found different ways and little tricks that have helped me along the way in still getting things done, but just like not working so hard, like working smarter, not harder. So I'll share some of those tips here in this video with you, as you can tell. Like there's some things that I'm doing while sitting down, just little things that you can do. I also undecorate my home from the holidays in this video. I actually filmed this a few weeks ago, but I just got around to editing it. And I also include a fun little recipe in there in the middle of the video for you guys that I hope you enjoy. So let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. I'm just starting off taking out all the ornaments and then also these little wooden beads that I thought were so cute. I got them from Hobby Lobby this year, but I'm actually going to keep them just for like other decor around the house because I feel like they look good year round. I'm not gonna put those away with Christmas stuff. I'm just leaving those aside. After I put the tree away, I'm just taking out all of these bins and I actually really wanted to get some red and green bins. That way it's like really easy to, to know which ones are the Christmas ones. That way I can just be like, hey babe, can you go get the red and green bins from downstairs whenever it's Christmas? And then that way, because right now I have like black ones um, with yellow lids from Costco, but they're not clear. So I don't know what's inside of them. And I've tried putting labels, but like they get lost or just like... I don't know what happens to them and so I have to open up all the boxes to see what's inside of them. So it's gonna make it really easy that way I know I don't have to open them up until Christmas time if I do see them. Um, and I'm trying to like organize everything in categories. So for example, I'll put like the soft stuff in ones like if I have like a pillow or like a stocking or a blanket or something like that, that goes in one bin. I'm putting all the ribbons in the other, like ornaments in the other. So just kind of keeping things more organized. the 
glass of yours Baby, let's talk until we're fine You've been in bed for days Empty without me, you say Can't you just magically turn up in mine? Then you knock on my door on the second floor And I feel okay We just made it through and I You guys, macho and cheekies <laughs> They make me laugh so much. They're just it's so funny. They're always following me, but they're always together and like they get along so well, which I'm so grateful for. But they're just so funny. <laughs> For some of the more delicate ornaments, I like to just put them in tissue paper or like a plastic bag or just something so that they're more secure. And then also look at these tiny little shoes. We bought these when we found out we were pregnant and then we put them on the tree, but they're just so cute. I'm taking them out now though. I'm not going to pack them like in storage or anything. I'm going to put them in the baby's nursery, but just wanted to point those out because they're so precious. <laughs> And last year, I got a few different nativities. This one's so cool because it's like double-sided. Like if you like a different color, you can choose one or the other. Um, but I got two different nativities from Desert Book. And I couldn't put them under the tree this year just because Cheeky's like she'll play with them. And I don't know. I don't want to know what will happen to them. So I just put them on the little shelf by the window. So they were still out, but they just weren't under the tree. And I don't think I'll be able to put them in the tree like in the near future either like when the baby comes and everything but i don't know i just love nativities and i was so happy last year that i finally got some and they just had to be out and display whether they were on the shelf or somewhere else and then i feel like on camera you can't see like how much stuff was on the floor there was a lot of just like flocking from the tree glitter and just different things so I try to get like a good footage of what was on the floor, but definitely was not clean and needed to be vacuumed. And then this is everything that I took out for Christmas decor. So pretty much I only really decorate my living room and like one or two ornaments in the bathroom that you saw me take out earlier. And then I think the kitchen just had like a little greenery, but yeah, that's pretty much it.
when Christmas comes around, we usually move our furniture around too. That way we can accommodate the tree. So I'm just putting everything back to how it usually is and vacuuming as I go because I swear I vacuumed back here like not too long ago, but there's things back here again. <laughs> so it was a good moment to just clean everything up and I'm not doing like any heavy lifting. I'm just kind of dragging things around. These couches are super easy to just like move around if you just give them a little push. So I'm just moving these around really quickly. Wake up at mine Same question always I'm getting tired We could have breakfast Got in your freckles Close to the west coast How about that? Why don't we just... Okay, so it's day two today and there's still a lot, okay, just a lot that we have to clean, okay? <laughs> I hope that one day I do get my entire house cleaned, but I feel like, let me just kind of update you on what we're doing today. I mean, the goal is still to finish at least this floor, so let me just kind of update you on what's going on. I am wearing sneakers today just because I feel like whenever I wear sneakers, I'm like on a roll and just like it's easier for me to move around and like be a little bit faster. So I'm wearing sneakers today, but let me just kind of show you okay so here is the living room i'm trying to remember like what the last thing you guys saw last night was <laughs> but anyway so we're gonna try to clear up let me just take the camera out of this tripod so today's goal is to clean up the shelf i don't really know how to hide the cable on the playstation because it's like really short for some reason but we're gonna try to hide the cable and see how that goes. Put some decor on this table here. Just kinda finish up this little shelf right here. Vacuum the couches. Vacuum the floors, mop the floors, throw out the trash. Empty out this purse. I have it out here because it was hanging on my stairs and I just have to like clean it out. And then just like clean up this section. This is just like stuff for my husband from work so I'm just gonna leave that there for now and <laughs> just pretend it's not there. Okay, so that's that. And then we have this section over here, which we are going to clean the floors. I would love to clean the grout today. Like the grout, because see how like it gets dark and stuff. I don't like that. I like it when it's like more light. Kind of like over here, a little bit lighter. <laughs> but yeah, I would love it if I could like clean the grout twice a month this year. We'll see if that happens. These are being thrown away. I brought these down from upstairs. This is my brother-in-law's luggage that we are returning. This is the wreath that we had outside hanging on our door for Christmas, so we're putting this away. And then just like some tools that need to be put away. We are gonna do this. <laughs> and we are gonna get it done, it's gonna be great. Okay, and then this is the bathroom right now. I took out the Christmas decor, as you saw from yesterday. I want to like, clean up this table here um it's like kind of gotten like see how like that's there i got something and i just realized i left my ring upstairs <laughs> um i got something from ikea that i want to try out see if it helps with that we're gonna put like a little decor over there clean here put a new towel there these guys are just here playing <laughs> okay and then i honestly don't know if we're gonna get to all this today but Empty out the trash. I'm currently like making food as I go so that it's ready for later this evening. Um, empty out this table. As you can see, like there's a real mess here, okay? <laughs> um, this is like party decor stuff I have back here, like a bunch of balloons and stuff. So that I need to like sort out. I need to put this away that we're gonna take out. My parents gave us this for Christmas. It's gonna be so nice. And it's like filthy here, as you can tell. This is like dirt that Cheekies has been like pulling out from this plant she loves playing with it and then this has a bunch of that dirt on it because after she plays on it she'll come and play on this and she did pee on this so i'm gonna have to wash that uh i think that's like a bunch of stuff we got out from the car uh and then just all of this here needs to be put away so that's the goal for today let's go ahead and get started and i have my sneakers on as you can tell so Let's go ahead and get started. Wow. <laughs> Alright, we have to close out. It's burning and I still kind of figure out the camera. Ah! 
this is the Lodge cast iron. <laughs> okay, I was actually explaining things as I cooked, but I didn't realize that the radio was in the background and that's not royalty free, I don't think. <laughs> so I'm just gonna explain it here in the voiceover. So this cast iron is seriously like one of the best things we've purchased. We weren't like so sure about it in the beginning, but then um, we just got like a smaller size and it was like really, really worth it. So now I'm like, wow, we should have gotten the bigger side, but at least we know now that it's good. And if you can hear like little steps in the background, it's my dogs. They're with me whether I'm doing a voiceover or whether I'm recording. They're with me right now. So <laughs> um, so I just put some avocado oil on that and then um, it got hot. So I just kind of took it to the side and then I just have some chicken. I seasoned it with some Goya seasoning and a little bit of salt. And I'm just spreading that seasoning around the chicken. And we're going to saute this um, on this pan until it's nice and Actually, I cook it all the way. So nice and golden on the outside and then cooked all the way. I'm just covering that up. And then in the meantime, I'm going to fill up my dishwasher. That way we can kind of do lots of things at the same time. Kill a few birds with one stone, if you know what I mean. So the chicken at this point was already cooked. So I'm putting it in some boiling water. I'm actually going to do like the shredded chicken. But I just kind of like that little like cooked golden, you know, edges. I, what was it called a like crystallized type of look um and so i'm just putting that in there with some taco seasoning in the meantime i do have to wash the bedding for my dog's beds so i'm just vacuuming the bed first i have two different beds that i'm gonna wash but that way i can kind of remove some of the hair that way i don't get like all that hair in the washer and dryer um and then i do have just a trash bag like a garbage bag around the mattress that way it makes it waterproof or else that would be like destroyed by now and i don't think you can really wash those in the dishwasher or the, the dishwasher the clothes washer the washer uh, and now i'm doing this bigger bed which is macho's bed and this one is usually pretty full of hair he sheds a lot um, even if you like brush him he just sheds a lot cheekies doesn't shed very much at all she's just kind of She's still potty training, so they all they each have their thing. Um, but as you can see, there's a lot of hair that came out. And I also have a trash bag around the mattress for this bed. This is like the, the garden trash bags, the bigger ones. Um, and I used two, one on each side, and it's worked out really good so far. I feel like the beds have now lasted a very long time just because we protect the mattress. And then I try to wash them like, I don't know, once every two weeks, once a week, just depends if they peed or you know <laughs> how they are and at this point i guess this is normal i've asked like my friends and the doctor and if you are like as you're getting active throughout the day um your stomach starts to get a little bit more bloated with pregnancy so i put on this belly band which i have found to be super helpful i got it off of amazon i will link it below but it's seriously like life-changing it's not the cutest because it you know it makes like a little line on your stomach so it's like a little roll but the comfort part of it is so worth it so definitely recommend it um, and i'm using some jaws products i actually just barely order these for the first time and so you know when you get like new products even if it's like cleaning products you just get so excited about it so i was so excited to clean with these for the first time Now I'm bringing in some decor for just like year round winter. I feel like pompas just look good all year round. And I was just kind of placing it there and then I would step back and I would be like, hmm, does that look good there? And then I would move it around, put it somewhere else and then be like, hmm, does that look good there? <laughs> Until I got it where I thought it looked cute. And then I'm trimming some of these pompas just with some plant trimmers because I felt like it would look a little bit better if the stem was a little bit shorter. It's not necessary. I think it's just like the perfectionist in me that i just wanted it to be a little bit shorter but i thought it turned out really cute let me know what you guys think where you have like ideas of how um i can like arrange it here or just like other decor let me know in the comments
It seems like it doesn't matter how many times I vacuum these couches. I always find little treasures in there. This little plastic is from the little door stoppers. Cheekies loves chewing them, so I just take them out and hide them. <laughs> and I found one. So I either misplaced it or she brought it here, but I found it. You know that I'm a keep it cold. With you, I feel like breaking rules. On the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around without a clue. Things are starting to look so much better already. It's just so nice seeing everything get cleaned. And then this right here, I actually used before for filming when I would sit down and do like a makeup tutorial for the reflection of the lighting. But honestly, I haven't used it in a really long time. It was just taking up room. So I just cut it up into little pieces so that we could just go ahead and just get rid of this. Remember how earlier I pointed out that this table had that white stuff, just like it wasn't fresh anymore? So I, I remember I found this at Ikea like, ooh, like, I don't know, a few months ago. I bought it for this and I forgot I had it, um, but it's some type of oil that you just put on the wood and it kind of helps to refreshen it. You can use it for like cutting boards, so just wooden pieces. So I was trying it out for the first time and I thought it worked really good. So I'm really glad I got it. I will link it below as well. It's from Ikea. It was like pretty affordable too. So I think it was worth it.
This table was really packed with a lot of stuff. Also just like really random stuff. Like can you see that I'm holding some of the, remember how back in the day when you would take a picture, you had to buy a roll and then you had to like take the roll and they would print the pictures for you. Well, I found one of those rolls and I don't even know if that's like pictures of us or just random like I don't even know what they are. I don't I didn't recognize anyone in the picture. So I just throw it away. I mean, I don't think we're going to get those pictures developed ever. And it's so funny because like in the meantime, while you're finally like, you know, getting things moving along, I heard some commotion in the living room and I went and looked and Cheeky's had just brought in all this dirt over here from our plant and just spread it all over the couch and the floor. Oh, and of course, it died. So now I can't vacuum this. Oh. Real life, you guys. Sometimes the unexpected happens just when you hope it won't happen. Seriously, I'm like, out of all the moments, why did the vacuum have to die right now? So I'm just charging it while I clean up the rest of the things here on the table. I've seen those faces I've heard all the lies But you ain't gazing On someone in denial Cause you want dollar bills right now But you gotta work real hard I know you want it to be easy So let your guard I got these super cute cuddle and kind artwork pieces for the baby's room. They also have really cute dolls. And then this doormat, my sister and her family got it for us. It's macho and cheekies. It's so cute. We can't put it on the floor because I don't want it to get dirty. So we kind of just have it there for now. And believe it or not, by now it's been like an hour to two hours. And that chicken has been cooking in water for a while. And it was ready to be shredded. So I'm just using two forks to get it nice and shredded and then just covering that back up and i'm making some pinto beans so tonight was mexican night and to be honest i don't know if i'm making like authentic and not for sure it's not authentic mexican food but it's what we find to be delicious uh, we're not from mexico we're chilean but we love mexican food so we do what we can to just make a taste as close as possible um so now i'm just chopping up some onion and the I'm gonna actually use the same ingredients for the pico de gallo as the guacamole. So for the guacamole, it's gonna have avocado. So I'm just chopping up some onions and I'm going to put some in two bowls. And I said Unless I'm baking, there really isn't like an exact measurement of ingredients when I cook. So 
Just use the amount of tomato, cilantro, and onion that you want, and then avocado. I'm putting avocado in just one of the bowls to make a guacamole, and I'm putting some lime in there so that it doesn't get brown too quickly. That way it'll last till dinner time. And then just blending that in a bit, and then I do put in some salt um, just for seasoning. And really, that's all I do. <laughs> so I don't know how authentic this is, but it tastes good to us and it works for us. And now I'm just making a little sauce that I kind of invented. Um, so I just putting in some mayo. I know that like other people in my family make it too, but I honestly can't remember the ingredients. <laughs> I just kind of make my own. So I just put in some mayo, some ranch, some hot sauce, a little bit of that guacamole. Um, and these were like the only ingredients I had tonight. Sometimes I'll throw in like I don't know, like Serrano chilies if I have some, like if I buy some at the store specifically for this. Um, but yeah, just whatever kind of sounded good. And I highly recommend just kind of creating your own sauce with kind of those ingredients that I showed you. I'm just heating up some tortillas. These tortillas, the Tortilla Land ones, they are really good. They have very simple ingredients. They sell them by the big pack at Costco. We don't eat that many tortillas. So we just get like a little pack from the grocery store and we just, I'm just heating them up and then I put them like on a little aluminum foil to keep them nice and warm. Okay guys, so my SD card is actually full right now, um, but I wanted to just finish showing you everything for tonight at least. We'll continue tomorrow. <laughs> Um, but this is how the beans turn out. I just kind of smush them. You can add more or less water, just depending on how thick you want it. And then I have my chicken going back there. It's just kind of preheating it. My tortillas going. I'll put those like in aluminum foil so that they stay warm. And then I'm just going to go set the table and then we'll eat and be done for tonight and continue tomorrow. This is our table. Honestly, I can't even tell you the last time we ate at our actual dining table. We always eat here in the living room. <laughs> but here's everything. Nothing fancy, just like how we would normally do it. So we have our tortillas here. The chicken is in here, ready to be eaten. <laughs> we have the beans, that sauce that we made, the guacamole, um, pico de gallo, limes, sauce, and like cheese and stuff like that. ABC HD. It's bachelor night, so we're watching The Bachelor while we eat. <laughs> Look at the difference. Yeah, that one's actually HD. This was in his wheelhouse. Your own love story with Matt. <laughs> official day number three. Yes, number three. Oh my goodness, this has taken a really long time, but I'm going to show you pretty much where everything's at. I think we're almost finished for this project and now we're leaving the best for last, which is like, I'm actually really excited to do this. I have a feeling it's not gonna take too long. Usually I'll be like four legs on the floor, like scrubbing the grout on the floor, but I got a new little tool from Target that I'm really excited to try out. I have a good feeling that it's going to work a lot faster and I don't have to be like on my knees. I can be like standing or like even sitting if I wanted to. I mean, for the obvious, like, that I'm pregnant. So I'm excited to try out this tool to clean out the grout. I'm going to use, um, I think I saw that you use water, baking soda, and dish detergent, something like that. For sure, baking soda. So we're going to try mixing some things up. Hopefully there's not, like, a chemical reaction <laughs> um, to clean the grout. And then um, just try to get the floor nice and clean on this floor. Um, and then we'll be done for the night and for this project. So let's get started. Okay, so just kind of going around. It's looking pretty darn clean. <laughs> Not perfect, but clean for me at least. I'm really excited about it. I mean, there's obviously like little things that eventually we're going to fix. Like, um, you know, we have to get new blinds here. This is my husband's stuff for working. So that we're going to ignore for now. This is actually stuff that I'm returning to my sister. So that's that. Um, I couldn't figure out how to put this wire away. So that's gonna stay there for now. Anyways, it's looking pretty good except for this floor is filthy. Um, and I'm just really excited to get it super clean. Um, the reason why it gets so dirty is because these two here, they just bring in lots of dirt. Um, no matter like if you clean it, like daily, like it'll be dirty in a few hours. And right here, Cheekies loves playing in this and like 
she just brings all the dirt everywhere so we're gonna clean that up this right here i'm probably just gonna work on tomorrow i just like really want to get the floor done this is trash that i have to take out dog's blankets that i washed the little bedding that we washed yesterday i put it back on the bed um and then here a dirty mop head i finally bought a replacement for that so we're gonna switch that out and then yep so let's do this so excited For the mixture to clean the grout, I honestly kind of like the cooking. <laughs> Didn't really do anything too exact, like exact measurements. I just dumped in some water, some dish detergent, some baking soda, and like no exact measurements. I just used this cup so that I could pour it in there. <laughs> um, and then later on, I used a little bit of hydrogen peroxide because I was doing some research and that's supposed to be helpful. I kind of just went for something with a more creamy consistency, but I will include below a recipe I found on Google if you are wanting like more exact measurements. Okay, so this is the tool that I got from Target. It's by the OXO brand. Looks like this and it's called Extendable Tub and Tile Brush. And then you can extend it here, which is very nice.
I know you can't talk to me, but I hope you realize you're playing with fire. You were my one and only until you left me lonely. I guess you stopped to care. And now for the before and after of the grout. It's crazy, but I can't believe how dirty it was. And my goal for this year is to have it like this, nice and squeaky clean. There's obviously like some leftover baking soda that I have to mop a few times, but I think it's such a nice difference. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I love to have you here and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.